What's going on guys? It's the Bourbon Hunter. You know what time it is. Thank you so much for 3,000 subscribers. I cannot be more grateful. I have a great community. I really appreciate y'all. If you haven't subscribed, you need to because we got a giveaway coming up this video. So stay tuned. On with the video. All right, so our first stop here today was Lickerton, and I decided to check out these Barstown Fusion series. Looking for the number nine. It is the final release of this series, and I heard it's pretty good. Obviously, we have some Basil Hayden's here and the rest of the normal stuff that you see at a store, but I was asking about this Bradshaw. If any of y'all had that before, checked out for these makers, looked for some Slam Dunkaroos, can't find them. I did a video on this Jim Beam single barrel a while back. Please do not go watch it. It's a terrible video, but the bottle itself for the price isn't that bad. It's a 108 proof Jim Beam product, so what do you expect? Small Batch Select, got to try that the other day. Actually, really good. I was expecting a little bit less from them on that for a $60 price tag. I've been really enjoying Rise recently, so if you have any recommendations, please tell me. This Templeton Rye, I've seen it everywhere. Not sure if it's good or not. Tin Cup, what is this all about? Is it like throw it in a backpack and go kind of whiskey, or is it just a big gimmick from MGP? With the weather cooling down, I'm going to be outside a lot more, and hopefully that's something that I can bring along with me. Woodford Reserve, 124.7 proof. This year's release I heard was actually better than the past couple years, so it's one I want to try before I buy. Hey Bubba, hey, look you're famous, look at you. <laughs> After getting past the guard dog, I have to say something a little controversial. No, no, hear me out. A lot of y'all don't like Basil Hayden because of the price and the proof, but I like it, especially for a mixer. But the store is actually located really close to the airport, so any of these items in here that you can't get in your state, I recommend stopping by especially if you're traveling around. I had this little bottle catch my eye right here. This is the 86 proof varial Barton and I have the 100 proof in my collection and I actually enjoyed it for the price. Sitting right next to obviously the Cooper's Craft that everybody loves. Then we saw the old Ezra 7 which I've been hearing really good things about but I remember y'all telling me last video that I need to look for the higher number on the last section of this. Keeping an eye out for floors four through six. And all the Jeffersons are here, which have very competitive prices. I'm a big double oak guy, so I almost suckered in and bought these. Word on the street is there's a couple purple tops floating around, so we'll see if this, uh, this store has any. Immediately walk in and get hit with this giant display of Willet hammers, essentially, and Willet green tops, which tastes like chewing on a stick of peppermint gum. Then we jump over and we see these Widow Janes, the Paradigm and the Applewood Rye. So these two are actually pretty good, especially for the price. Then we see these old school convictions. But what is up with this old forge? Made in Tennessee. So is it a good Tennessee whiskey? And look, this was a really good price on this 10 year. I was very close to buying it, but I decided not to. I'm gonna wait and see what y'all have to say. It's got a cool story with it, so maybe I'll pick it up if y'all think it's good enough. Yeah, then we saw these cool things. These big home records of mellow corn, but in a plastic jug, mellow corn is already bad enough. I will get hate for saying that, but I did not like mellow corn when I first tried it. Amador, what's up with these? 92 proof, decent price on them. And I see these old Elk Infinity blends everywhere. I've never tried it though. Virgil Kane, Ribbon Rail Rye. So this is actually a local brand. I've tried most of their stuff and it's all pretty good, especially for the local talent that we have around here. The Ginger Infused by Virgil Kane is my favorite though. This is a Palmetto Bourbon Club Single Barrel Heaven Store Pick, cast strength at 120.9, so it's got a little heat on it. These guys normally do a really great job with picking out barrels and stuff, so I'm sure it's pretty good. Johnny Drum, if you haven't done it, you're doing yourself a disservice. Go ahead and pick it up. Made by Willet, 
101 proof. You cannot go wrong with it for $33. This Russell's Reserve single barrel rod I've been seeing everywhere, but for almost $80, I cannot pull the trigger on something from them. If you end up aligning with the palette of this store, man, you will be so excited to see that they have almost 10 single barrel store picks that are available to you. Some of them are from local companies, some of them are from huge name brand stuff like this barrel bottle that's nine years old, Old Scout, you know, MGP goodness, and obviously the Knob Creek 120 proof that every store has. That's just a big, beautiful peanut butter explosion. Whoa, don't go anywhere, guys. You know what time it is. It's giveaway time. All right, so the rules are you have to subscribe and you have to comment OWA. Yes, I'm young, but I know what Old Well or Antique used to be called. So comment down below OWA and make sure you're subscribed. Big shout out to Dev's Liquor. I'll link the video here. I went there. He helped me get a hold of this. So go check them out if you want. And there will be an exclusive Discord only giveaway happening right now, the same time as this giveaway. So join the Discord, come hang out with us, and you might have a chance to win a bottle there too. Thank y'all so much. Back to the video. This is one of the closest to retail prices for the Woodford batch proof that I have seen in town. 124.7 proof Woodford with a big glass bottle. It's going to be hard to pass. Then we look through their store section a little bit more, and there is a 15-year Whistle Pig single barrel store pick that they did. And I'm a big Whistle Pig fan. That was a little bit too much money. $300 out the door probably would be just too much for me. Here we go for you Basil Hayden haters. They have released a new malted rye, which I have not tried, but I'm probably going to have to pick it up at some point just to try it out. The OG 114 is here as well. Can't go wrong with that. Larceny Barrel Proof is everywhere down here. I can't believe that it's allocated in some states. We just need to start giving ours away. Rebel 10 Single Barrel. I saw a lot of people in the Discord comment and do a review about this, and they said it was phenomenal. Rebel Cast Strength. Another store pick from them. 120 Proof. It's a little young. It said barrel filled in 2018, so not very old. Being a Chattanooga fan, it's hard to see this bottle collect so much dust. This is the Founders Edition, 11th anniversary, and I had to draw a little smile on it. For $60, I'm probably going to end up picking up one of these. These 2XO Tribute Blends, I've heard they're picking up a little steam, but $120 is quite expensive. Barrel Dovetail and Barrel Seagrass for $159, though. I cannot justify that. And then you look over here for the Seagrass, and it's $4.99. And what's up with old Nick trying to copy Maker's Mark with a little wax on top? Jack Daniels Sinatra Blend, which I heard it's just regular Jack Daniels. Some more 2XOs, and of course the Confiscated and other Kentucky Owl stuff. This Hootin' Young, I got to try it the other day. $79 for a 12-year is not bad. And I think it is sourced stuff, but I did enjoy the pour that a buddy let me try. And good for them for putting MGP on the back of the bottle, letting everybody know that they're not trying to hide anything. This Yellowstone, I was telling y'all, I swear I saw a 109 somewhere in the past, and here it was the whole time. 109 proof Yellowstones I heard are much better than the 102 proofs. That forbidden, forget about it. Barrel. They're always doing great things, especially with these prices. I mean, they can be a little bit better, but barrel products are good. I have been keeping an eye out for this number still. Don't worry. My buddy over at Whiskey Wisdom, Matt, made a cocktail with this Knob Creek Smoked Maple. I might have to pick up one and try it. If you haven't seen his channel... Go check it out. They do great reviews and bottle tastings and also some bourbon hunting as well. Knob Creek 9, great pick. Had a buddy ask me for a recommendation. That's exactly where I sent him. Look at this. I used to drink this Evan Williams Black Label in college all the time. And to see it for $22.99, I kind of remember why I drank so much of it. Maker's Mark. A little, a little drip down on the label. I almost bought this because I'm out of 46 I have the cast strength, but I decided to pass on it. Sweetgrass and all these other local brands around here like Vessi's, Bend and Steel, Firefly Distillery, Old Money, 
and a peach brandy hiding up here with the bourbons, which is kind of interesting. I did open that Sweetgrass 7-year last night, and it wasn't bad. I did pay way too much for it at a different store, but aside from that, I would buy it again. I had the opportunity to look at all of these maker marks, and you wouldn't believe that I single slam dunk in here. I know it's not different, but I would open every single one of these boxes just to find one. I cannot contain my excitement right now. Will it purple top, eight year weeded. I don't care if it's the weeded or not. I I just have never had a Will it purple top. So super excited, 215. I think that's a reasonable price for it. And I picked up this bad boy, which I love the Chattanooga stuff. So super happy to have this Founders Edition 11 year anniversary for $60, that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Please consider supporting us here. We have a really good giveaway going on in our Discord. Check that out. Thank you so much. And as always, guys, Bourbon Hunter out.